summer camps, birthday parties, play dates at the pool for a lot of kids. The pandemic has spoiled it all. And now some counselors say more children are experiencing anxiety and depression. KXAN investigator Arzo Dos talked with parents who've come up with creative ways to stay connected. This is called Gorillas Cooking with Felix. Cooking with Felix Can I help? was hatched up during this pandemic. We just got a big baking cookbook and we've been trying it out together. Can I help? Jason Darling says they share the videos with friends and it's a way to stay connected. Every single night Felix is like, hey, can we play? that coronavirus doesn't exist anymore, and that's hard for me to hear. The family says they also have play dates with a small group of friends who are isolating. <clears throat> Other parents? A lot of fun. We have a bubble machine that we've pulled out. Like Dania Salazar started having curbside visits with family and friends. Um, sometimes we blow bubbles and, and dance out on the sidewalk, um, but it keeps my kids distanced from whoever we want to visit. That connection is key, says family therapist Mandy Melendez. She's already seeing the impacts of isolation on our kids' mental health. Long-term effects of isolation could potentially include decreased social skills. Uh, which is just natural since they're not practicing those social skills. This survey by JAMA Pediatrics, a medical journal, found about 23% of elementary school students in a part of China with a virus outbreak had symptoms of depression. 19% had anxiety symptoms after more than two months of home confinement. And even something like this where they're meeting virtually is better than nothing. It's not ideal, uh, but it's better than nothing. Felix is trusty saying, hey, Dad. For Jason and his family, acknowledging what's going on has been helpful. Talking that out with my kids and like having these like big conversations, it's just really good. It really helps them. Arzo Dost, KXAN Investigates. Austin Public Health reports about 460 children between the ages of 1 and 9 have contracted COVID-19 so far. Doctors say children are less likely than adults to develop serious symptoms.